don't know. Have you? Have we met before? I'm not sure. <laughs> I was actually asked that before by uh, oh. Rosen. So uh, right, yeah, maybe. Good way. Thank you. Are you good, Rosen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Good day. Okay. So uh, welcome to Sydney. And how was the uh, world premiere yesterday? Pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah we had monks exciting. and grandeur guards and everybody. I mean, and the blue Rolls Royce purring yes. away. Yeah, and a great turnout. Very nice. And uh, Oliver, I mean, how did you get involved? Because obviously the first film was directed by Peter Howitt, and mm. now you're doing the sequel. So mm. how did that all come about? Well, I was approached a couple of years ago and um, wasn't sure about it actually because I wasn't sure where they were going to take it. Um, but I read the script that Hamish McCall had done, and uh, I thought it had a lot of ambition. It was trying to push it somewhere. Quite interesting, and and um, and so I met up with him and Rowan, mm. and he similarly had a kind of desire to push it um, in a particular direction, and we seemed to all see eye to eye, and next thing we know, here I am in Sydney. And on the uh, <laughs> Rowan, I mean, Gillian, how is it working with Rowan? Um, it's uh, it's it's fabulous. I mean, he's um, he's uh, um, very dedicated to his work, and he's uh, very much a perfectionist, and. Uh, watching a, um, a very serious master of comedy at work is uh, is something to behold. So it was uh, it was very educational for me. Is it hard to keep a straight face? So I, I mean, technically, the rest of the cast are all straight men. Yeah. And Rowan's in the middle, and he's such a physical physical comedian. Is it hard to keep a straight face? Well, what, what's what, what's interesting about Rowan when he's working is that he doesn't often, you know, a lot of comedians are on all the time. And, uh, and and Rowan just isn't, and so he's mostly on just when the camera's rolling, and mm. so you, it's it's quite surprising mm. um, to be in a very serious conversation with him, uh, you know, offset and um, all getting prepared, and everything's very serious, and all of a sudden all this stuff comes out of him. Um, it's it takes a lot of work to um, to keep oneself from <laughs> completely falling apart <laughs> with laughter. Yeah. And was he great to work as a director? Was he good to work with as an actor? Yeah, no, he's, uh, I mean, the fascinating thing about him is he has a, a very particular sort of process. He has a very clear idea of what he wants to get to. Um, and sometimes, uh, once you've got it, you'll play and try a few other different things. But on the whole, it's nearly always about polishing that idea. And, um, and so it's as much about creating an environment where he feels comfortable. Um, and, uh, but because Hamish, he and I work together a bit on the script and then you're rehearsing it together. By the time we get to the camera, it's pretty clear where you're going with it. Um, but he's absolutely the most meticulous man you mm. can imagine. And he's like a, uh, an engineer, you mm. know. He does see all the cogs of the comedy and analyzes the whole thing. And uh, uh, so when the, when the cast do crack up, like I remember the day of doing the chair scene, for example, mm. he was quite shocked because he's so focused on the kind of serious intent of the character that he was amazed at the sort of response. <laughs> um, so it's, a, it, it's not, um, yeah, it's not a kind of easy going, let's have fun together. It was a really focused and really um, uh, an incredible kind of dedication, as mm. you were saying. The, mm. the commitment is astonishing. It must be quite interesting for you to have had the experience of going mm. for such a long time, over, you know, discussing yeah. over tables, yeah. had, uh, the comedy, discussing comedy, discussing yeah. comedy, discussing comedy, and then showing up to work and actually seeing it unfold. Yeah, cold. definitely. Yeah. That must have been really I think it was good, and I, th and I think some of it, you feel he has an idea of the perfection that he's reaching for. Mm. And, uh, and there are times you feel, oh, he got pretty damn close to it. And other times it's really nice to surprise him. I mean, the fun mm. thing from our point of view was to present not just the straight men in the other cast, but a really strong cast of mm. great actors who are going to put him on his metal and, um, and really make sure that, uh, that there's a real authentic world in which the comedy can exist, you know. And so, so I think it was a, a process, a learning process for him as well. If you talk about casting, it's obviously got Gillian now mm. as the head of MI7. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how do you go about casting the rest of the film? Well, it was, you know, had this been Daniel Craig playing John English, which I, I think we're lining that up for number three, uh, then, you know, how would you really take these parts very seriously and give it the kind of glamour and the kind of, um, uh, on one level, you want to really get the sort of, the, the fine English character that, that uh, uh, of which he would like to see himself um, working in, but also the international element, you know, yeah. to give it a sort of interna international espionage feel. So it's, you're mm -hmm. taking it pretty damn seriously. You're not looking for people who are going to nibble at the comedy cake. <laughs> These are characters who are really going to 
chase those characters down, the actors down, you know, and, so, and I think it was a very good experience. And Julia, I mean... I like that nibble at the comedy cake. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what was it that attracted, attracted you to the role? Um, well, first of all, I think working with Rowan, because I'm, uh, you know, I've been aware of his talent as a comedian for a long time, and um, um, I've played uh, an agent before, and um, sometimes it's, uh, you know, I've, I've tried very hard to steer clear of um, of agenty type <laughs> roles in the past, but there's I'm something. Well, there's something interesting about uh, about heading towards it instead, and yet trying to make it uh, very, very different from what you've done before. And there's a unique challenge in doing that. And certainly, the idea of playing the head of something, which just, you know, uh, as my five foot three frame and <laughs> um, being, you know, the boss of all of these uh, uh, tall men, is I just find that in and of itself quite hysterical. So um, um, that. That was that, that was. She was eight foot tall on on screen. On screen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's my time up. So thank you very much. Thank guys. you. Pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy the Cheers. rest of your time in Sydney. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Watch your head. <laughs>